so with everything going on with coronavirus, nobody's been going to any bars. All the bars and restaurants are closed here in New York City, takeout only. But this pandemic has everybody at home, and so the bar's a little shy, if you know what I'm talking about. Honey, do. So here's the situation. As someone who enjoys a cocktail, we're experimenting with the booze. It's a little stressful situation. Some of us, you know, drink straight out of the bottle, but some people are doing it with style. I'm not a bartender. I know how to do what, uh, uh gin and tonic or, uh, uh, yeah, basically I'm not a bartender. That's basically what it is. I figure I'll tap somebody who knows exactly what's going on. My good friend Marlo is from the Bacardi crew. He knows everything there is to know about making great classic cocktails, you know what I mean? And then of course inventing some of his own. Maybe I'll learn a thing or two. At least I'll learn what to shop for, right? Let's do it. What's up Marlo, how you doing? How's it going daddy? Nice to see you. So Marlo, where are you from? How long have you been bartending? Give me the lowdown. So I've been bartending for almost a little more than 15 years now. I bartended in multiple places uh, in New York City, did a beverage program at Jeepney, a Filipino gastropub, help opened up uh, Mother of Pearl, help opened up Dante, um, wow. consulted in a bunch of uh, different uh, cocktail bars and restaurants, and uh, now I'm like a brand ambassador for uh, Santa Teresa Rum, which is a great aged rum as well. So now I get to support bartenders and support the community. That's pretty much it. So listen, I'm trying to get my bar set up. There's a lot of stuff going on in this world, and I think that I need a fully stocked bar in order to try and get through it. So if you could give me any sort of help, I don't know what I'm doing at all. You need kind of like a white rum or a Blanc rum or like an aged rum if you prefer as well. The great rums out there that's kind of like in between, kind of like the Bacardi Quattro, which is a Bacardi Four, where it has a little bit of aging, but it could stand up, it could mix well, just like a white rum or a Santa Teresa rum, which is a great aged rum as well. You could have like a really good gin. Bombay Sapphire is definitely like highly elevated. Or if you want to go with uh, a nice, like simple gin, like Tank Ray's like, a standard gin, but if you want to take it to the next level, there's a lot of other gins out there. Try to get a cognac if you can. You right. definitely want to have a vodka. I, I prefer a Grey Goose. It's it's probably just the best vodka for mixing or just drinking straight on the rock. Then you want your whiskeys. You want a bourbon. You want a rye whiskey. Beautiful, beautiful. And, then, and maybe like a scotch, you know what I mean? Oh that's, yeah. That, that's, that's a start of point to like have those different kinds of uh, spirits. And if you want to go to towards tequila and mezcal, yes, have cover the gamut. I know you. I know you know mezcal. You definitely know mezcal. I love Oaxaca. I love mezcal. It's probably one of the most rep represented as like the terroir of spirits because each palenque has like its own flavor. It's wonderful. Even if you you're not a mezcal drinker, it's good to have a bottle of mezcal there because your other friends might love mezcal and you could be that amazing host when they come in oh you have mezcal yes we could make you a mezcal margarita on to the next section modifiers that's where you get to get really creative as far as like your cocktail making in your home bar um you definitely want to start off with like angostura bitters you make manhattan's with it uh you make old fashions with it standard cocktails oh another like set of bitters to have is peychaud's bitters it's probably one of the first bitters ever created it's great in sazeracs and sazeracs are my favorite ultimate favorite cocktail i like to make my sazeracs with rye and cognac a martini bitter or a campari to make like negronis americanos or boulevardier which is like a bourbon version of a negroni i'd like to get orange bitters as well i love orange bitters in my martini Right. Okay. Um, I usually don't drink my martinis dirty at all. I usually just drink my martini like a little citrus forward, equal parts of like dry vermouth, gin, and two dashes of orange bitters. Part of like what the dirty martini came came about was because everyone had old vermouth and they were making martinis with old vermouth. So they would just mask it up with a whole bunch of salt and like olive brine. Right. You know, just to mask the booze and mask how bad the vermouth got. Right. On to the next section, it's great to have vermouths at home. 
you should always have a sweet vermouth and a dry vermouth. Use it as much as you like, buy some more. Very easy to maintain. It's just like buying wine. I prefer to keep it in the refrigerator. It'll last there for about a month or so. Right. Uh, most bartenders will say it'll last two weeks, but I think a month is safe for a home bar. Um, with the sweet vermouth, that's your Manhattans. And you can make Manhattans with rye whiskey. You need your rye whiskey. You could use the sweet vermouth as with Negronis as well. You need an Aperol, so you could do Aperol spritzes. And those those are very shelf stable. They, they'll they'll stand. They'll they'll hang out in your bar for a while. If you do drink a lot of it, then there it goes. You're gonna have to buy another bottle, <laughs> right? So easy. Other modifiers that you should probably get is a triple sec like Cointreau or like uh, Combier, right. which they, they produce really good uh, orange liqueurs. Um, Grand Marnier is kind of like an elevated version of it. It's a tad bit sweeter. Um, so it's good to have like a little orange liqueur. Or if you want to go something floral, St. Germain, you know, that's great to have. You could do a 50-50 martini and then add a little bit of St. Germain, just a little dash of St. Germain, just to like sweeten it up just a teensy bit and it's wonderful. With having those options in your home bar, you could create almost any cocktail. You will be forever entertained and entertaining to your guests, you know? Thank you so much. You are my guru. You are my Yoda. I appreciate it. I'm gonna try and make this work. I'm gonna try and do the best possible bar. And I'll, I'll check in with you and I'll try and, I'll make you proud. I, I, I trust me, I'll make you proud. When everything opens up, I can't wait to stop by and uh, check out your bar and, you know, have you make me a drink. Oh. This time, you know? <laughs> Challenge accepted. All right. <laughs> All right, Marlo, thanks so much. Bye. <laughs> All right, we've got our list. We're gonna go and uh, figure this out. This is the, uh, the glamour. Don't worry, I'm gonna get a better mask. But at the end of the day, it's all about safety, not about style. But I'm sure we can find a balance. Here we go. Yeah, it's definitely pretty, pretty quiet out here, which is good, but you know, it's also stressful because it's New York. <laughs> I mean, I've lived here all my life and I've never seen it this quiet. But listen, at least people are staying at home, at least people are staying safe. All right, so I just got back. I wasn't able to show you guys too much of me shopping because, uh, pandemic and I was wearing a mask and gloves. Just trying to be safe, trying to be concise and quick so I can get in here and do this, right? I'm eager to get all this new stuff up on the bar and make some cocktails. So I'm gonna show you what I got and maybe let's see if we can actually build a bar. done and the bar looks fantastic. Before I have a drink, I want to thank my friend Marlo Gamora for such an amazing list. Check the link down in the description for the full list so you can shop like a pro. Marlo, I couldn't have done it without you. The cocktail that I'm making today can be found in the Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide. It's the Lewis cocktail and calls for gin, dry vermouth, Cointreau, and Grand Marnier. I'm taking it upon myself to assume that this cocktail is for Louis Armstrong. Why? Because jazz. Well, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and of course, ring that bell so you get notifications. If you want early access to music, merch, and videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. There's a link right here. So, what's your favorite cocktail? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Mm. 
thank you to my patrons. Jazzy. Good.